Hey guys, and welcome to my top 10 list of worst video game controllers of all time. Uh, you may have seen my other video, which was containing the best video game controllers. Now this is the worst. Number 10. The Nintendo 64 controller is a really odd controller, just for the reason that, um, it, look at the way it's set up. I mean, there's a deep, there's three handles, which is really odd, the D-pad, and the joysticks right in the middle of the controller it's just kinda awkwardly set up and the trigger buttons beside like the one over the d-pads hardly used therefore this is number ten on my list number nine sega genesis controller with the three button model um... i just don't like the feel of this one it's not that it's a bad controller in fact i kind of fine with it it's just I don't really like the way it's set up as far as structurally it's just not that comfortable of a controller number eight um the six button controller Sega Genesis is definitely an improvement but not by much it's small and it's kinda awkward I actually like the bigger one as far as structurally about the same just a little less um, but the three extra buttons really makes it better. Um, I definitely think they could have made structural improvements over the entire design itself. Number seven. Don't get me wrong, I love the Magnavax Odyssey 2 controller. Um, actually, I like the system, but not really the controller. The controller's got a kind of cool joystick, but it's kind of awkward at the same time. The button's fine. It's like two the controller's too large and too square so it doesn't really fit your hands at all and it's actually worse than the Atari 2600 controller number 6 the Atari Jaguar controller i mean look at it what 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 is that it's got a number pad which is one of the things that defines a bad controller it's got it may it's kind of comfortable if you have the right size hands but most mostly it's not that comfortable um, the three A, B, and C buttons are kind of weirdly placed, but they're not that bad. My main issue is the size of it, and basically that's it. Number five, the Vectrex controller. Um, the Vectrex controller is pretty bad. I mean, just look at it. It the It's notorious for its joystick breaking. I mean, if it didn't break so much, it's okay, but... Look at the buttons. You can, you, you'll have one heck of a time just trying to reach number one. So for that reason, it's down here. Number four. Do I have to explain the CDI controllers? I think not. If you've even seen like AVGN reviews of the CDI, you'll know. I mean, just look at it. It's not. It looks more like a remote controller, not a game controller. Uh, I think game controllers are meant to have two hands on it not one and for that main reason I think it's poorly designed plus t CDI stuff isn't just isn't reliable at all number three um, the ColecoVision controller yeah I know um, it, the joystick's really stiff and it's got a number pad great I know you always lose the overlays for the number pad so what's the point. Why don't they just have normal buttons like a regular controller? The main thing about this, I mean, the side buttons are good, and it's not that bad as far as comfort-wise, but the main thing is the joystick. Number two. You may have seen this one coming. It's the Intellivision controller. Very similar to the ColecoVision, only instead of a stiff joystick, you get a stupid gold disc. Um, basically, what it is is a button and kind of a joystick I don't know how to explain it it's basically just a disc you spin around and it kinda moves the character but it's a joystick or a d-pad at the same time it's really weird and finally number one yes the 5200 controller if you're a collector I don't have to explain this at all but I will if you're not quite a collector basically these controllers are total garbage and they just they don't live. They always die within like minutes of playing it. In fact, 
that's why the entire system failed is because these controllers and they're very rare to find third-party developers so thanks for watching and I will see you next time